Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, good morning, Hi, sir. Good evening. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> well, we're going to get started with the um, with a little uh, review of what we did last Thursday. Then we had, uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to <clears throat> more positive and negative statements with the pass of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with, which illustrates how this topic is true in a real life setting. Okay, here we're going to see what the positive and negative statements using the verb to be was and where. Pay attention to the conversation, okay, especially to the pronunciation and how to form the past tense of the verb to be. To be, share your... No, wait. Let me share the sound of the computer. There we go. Yes, okay, you're right. Your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not weren't equals were not we can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be subject plus was or where plus complement we need to remember the following for the pronouns you we and they we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past was finally we will include a compliment born in Korea let's do one more example we were born in the same year first we need to add a subject we then we will use the verb to be in the past 
where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So I took English classes for two years first. In the U.S.? No, I came here. Where were you born, Melissa? By listening to a conversation title, I was born in Korea. Okay, we're just going to listen again the conversation only. Please pay attention to the pronunciation and the use of where were you born, where were I was, a uh, wherein, a uh, where. Well, let me see, it wasn't very good, it wasn't very good. And uh, the other one we have, I was born. Okay, so please pay attention to the information, pronunciation, and if you have doubts or words that you don't know, you can tell me at the end. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's... Okay, questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation or expressions? No? No. Okay. Then we're going to share your work in our discussion forums. This one was born in San Salvador. My parents weren't born in San Salvador. They were born in Santa Ana. This is an excellent example, right? I was born, my parents weren't born in Salvador, and they, using I, they, and they. Okay, we're gonna do this one before we do the oral practice, okay? For example, if we have add the correct form of the verb was, were, wasn't, or weren't, here we use my family and I, Where? 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 Because we are using my Where? family and I, right? So it's, it's, a, it's plural. 
my family and I. So it's where. Okay. The next one. Where? Where? We, right? We weren't. We weren't born in the U.S. Okay. Oops. I think that is one that is mistaken. Okay. What about the next one? Was. I was. I was born. I. Okay. What is next? My parents. Wearing. Wearing. Um, my parents is they, right? They. So that would be wearing. And this one? Wearing. Wearing. Wear. They. Nice day. Plural, they wear. They wear. Remember, was is only for I, he, she, it. For the rest, where? 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 Teacher. Yes. El apóstrofe es en está malo. Sí, yo creo que ajá me va a dar problema, pero ya lo vamos a cambiar. Okay. Good. The next one. Was. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, if you see this one, apparently they are correct, right? Where, wherein, wasn't, uh, was, uh, wherein, where, and was. Okay. Pero alguien me dijo ahí, aquí hay un errorcito, no es en la, en la, en la respuesta, sino que en la forma del... ¿Cómo es que se llama del apóstrofe? Yo lo puse en mi computadora y me dio ese error. Pero lo mejor es copiarlo de acá. In case, en caso de que se les presente ese problema a la hora de responder. Ok. Dice the correct one. Okay, and then just submit again. Now all of them are correct. Okay, yes, but there's a mistake in the in the in the apostrophe. It has to be exactly like this. Okay, pay attention to those details because sometimes that can be probably you are correct. Your answer is correct, but. Uh, one is space here or probably a period or something un puntito algo can make a difference okay good now let me see i'm gonna see the next one sorry Uh, Dinora, can you please read this objective here? By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Thank you. Okay. Pay attention to this. I sent you these questions. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of me. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the US? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. 
No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where, after that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark. Born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Let's analyze. Okay, remember that uh, you can use here questions, WH questions, where were you, who, what, uh, when, why. Okay, so you can use all this, why were you, uh, when were you, uh, what city were you born, uh, how, how were you. So you can use all the WH questions with where, okay? To practice different kinds of questions. After you finish this activity, save your work in our discussion form. Okay. Now we're going to, to go to the practice, okay? Using those questions that you have in your, in the, in the chat, with the, in the WhatsApp group. So we can, uh, you can use those questions to, to practice, but not only, no solo de leer y responder, sino que use the questions, cambien un poquito la pregunta y pueden hacer preguntas acerca de ustedes, right, para practicar. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, where were you born? Okay, let's say, uh, I was born in, in Santa Ana. I was born in San Salvador. Where were your parents born? Where was your brother born? Where was your mother born? Where was your father born? Okay, so you can practice about other people. Uh, when was, uh, for example, where was your father born? He was born in San Miguel, okay. Uh, when was he born? He was born in 19, uh, 1950. Uh, what city was he born? Okay, he was born in, um, I don't know, in, in Tapelpique, right? Or something like that. You can make up, invent the answers. No problem? No questions? Preguntas?
Vamos a ir a los grupos pequeños y van a hacer esa práctica entre ustedes. Uh, here, let's see, we have uh, 14 people. We can have five groups. Probably, yes. One, two, three. Yes, five groups. Two, three participants per session. Si hay alguna pregunta, la pueden hacer ahorita para empezar. No questions? Okay. Eh, las respuestas solo van a ser así simples o así cuando sea con when, where, ya sería más como más, más de explicación. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, uh, the just no questions. Were you born uh -huh. in the U.S.? Yes, I was. But where were you born? Well, I was born in Korea. Okay, I was born in 1986. Okay, yes. Exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Here we go. Veamos si está en el, en el chat. Déjenme ver. Sí, Cheri, las preguntas las tenemos que mandar o solo hacerlas entre nosotros. No, practice here in the group. Ah, ah, pues, ah pues no. Pero si sí copien para saber qué responder y pueden escribir. Ah, eso sí. Yes. Ok. Ok. Aquí okay. este... Bueno, Verónica. En el Hola, chat. ¿sí? En el chat pueden agarrar bueno. la base. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Sí, eso, eso está ah, bien. From there, yes. yeah. Ok. Ok. I will come back later. Ok, gracias. All right. Para una persona, si digamos yo le estoy preguntando a usted, entonces sería, voy a usar el was. O el where? El where. where. Ah, For example, okay. were you born in the San Salvador? In San Salvador? Yes, I was. Ajá, entonces así bueno. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. 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 Al menos que le pregunte del hermano, ¿no? Where was, was your brother born in San Salvador? Yes, he was or no he was. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Continue practicing. Very good. Eh, was. Eh, teacher, por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntarle a él en qué ciudad nació, puedo, puedo decir, what city were you born in? What city were you born in? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. What city? Where you born in? Ah, ok. Entonces Where? ahí podría, ya tendría que decir, por ejemplo, si me pregunta a mí, I was born in y la ciudad. Yes. That's correct. Ok. Ok, ok. Ah, pues, eh, Roger, Roger, eh, what city were you born in? I was born in... Eh, no te oí la, la ciudad que dijo al final que casi ya dijiste 
I was born in Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. Oh. Okay. I was born in, in El Salvador. When was he born? He born in September he was, he was, 50, he was 55. Born. He was he okay. was born in in December. Mm -hmm. And where when were you born, Mauricio? I was born in El Salvador. When when you no when was you you born? When were you? Uh, when were you? Oh. When, when I, were you? When I was born in. Uh, 17, 17, 19, 19, no, uh, uh, 1971. Okay, that's good. That's better. Mm -hmm. What city were you born? Um, I I was. I was born in nineteen eighty four. Okay. What city were they? No, what city? Bueno, what city were you born in? I was born in Santa Ana. Okay. Este, bueno, ya terminamos esta laminita, voy a hacer como así inventado, ¿verdad? Hey, very eh, <laughs> teacher. Hello, very nice, nice presentation. Nice, good, good. Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you. Teacher, okay. antes estábamos comentando de que, mm -hmm. pues, ese tipo de preguntas solo es para para preguntar a dónde nacimos y y como eh, en qué año. Mm -hmm. Sí, pero usted puede ahí puede por el deseo está. Ya vamos a en la siguiente lámina del platform, podemos utilizar who, why, for example, you can say, eh, you, you can get el, el, let's say the, el escenario, las preguntas, for example, Silvia, were you, were you, living, live, no, were you in, let me see, were you at home, es que uh, que last después... weekend, last weekend, Were you mm. at home last weekend? No lo entendí. Were you at home? Were you in your house last uh -huh. weekend? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay. Who were you with? Who were you with? Who? Uh -huh. Who? ¿Qué, cuál, qué, ¿Qué significa esa palabra? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ah, uh, ok. Eh, with my daughter. I was. I was. Uh -huh. I, I was in my home with my daughter. I was with my daughter. Ok. You see. Why were you with your daughter? Why? Why? Por qué? 
Mm -hmm. uh, because I live in uh, uh, only her. No sé si se dice, si solo con ella. I, because I live only with her. Okay. 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 But, yes. but el, yo recibo, por ejemplo, que you can use who, where, no solo de la, de cuando no se sino que se pueden usar para otras. Oh. Por ejemplo, where, where were you? A donde estuvieron. Ok. Entonces, Silvia decía, what were you eating? Eso ya sería con el presente pasado progresivo. ¿Qué estuvieron comiendo? What were you eating? What were you doing? Que ese ya es otro tiempo gramatical que lo van a ver después. Ok. Oh. okay. okay. Pero digamos, okay. esta es la, como la base para saber cuándo usar was y where. En, uh -huh. Y la ubicación, donde va, me pregunto. Uh -huh. Después van a ver que es para un uso igual que en español. Uh -huh. Alright. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Continue you, with teacher. the practice. No problem. Okay. Okay. All right. So now let me see what we have for. Okay. Um, vamos a ver. Um, Diva. Sí, va bien. Was for was for nineteen nineteen sería el primero ninety four 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 Correct. Uh -huh. Right. She was born in nineteen nineteen ochenta, como dice? Eight, eighteen. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Nineteen. Ya no se me ocurre otra. Es solo una, dije. Where? Mm. Wow. Where you are? Okay. Oh, you're back. Okay, in this one, uh, before we... Okay, you were practicing questions like where were you born? Okay, uh, what was the one? Where, when, right? Where were you born? When were you born? But here, you will, okay. uh, you can also see that you can have other words like where, where did you grow up? How? How was your first day at school? You say, for example, how, how is your day? But you can also say, how was your day? How are you today? How were you yesterday? Okay. And then you have a uh, who. Who was your first friend at school? Who was your first uh, boss? Who was your first best friend? Who was your first uh, boyfriend? Who was your first girlfriend? Okay. Who was your first husband? No. 
who was your first wife? Okay, and then hey, what was he like or what was she like? The description of the personality. Why did you take his class? Why did you take his class? You can see a combination here of the verb to be, okay, and be it in past tense, but all of them in past tense. All right, so let's see. What is the answer for the first question that we have? Where were you born? Anybody? Um, mm -hmm. Where were you born? In, where? in Hiroshima. In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Japan. Okay. Where do you grow up? Where do you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Yes. How was your first day at school? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko. What was she like? She was really friendly. Really? Really? She was really? She was really friendly. Yes. yes. And the last one. I want class? to grow my grow my English. I wanted to improve my English. Okay. And we have here in Hiroshima, Japan. You see, why did you grow? I grew. I grew up. How was your first day? It was a little scary. Yes, yes, day it. Her name was Yumiko. Yumiko. And what was he like? Or what was she like? She was really friendly. This is a description of the personality. Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. This is the reason, okay, the purpose. Why did you take this class? Okay. Questions? Okay. Okay, here we took next. Then you can see that we have all of them are correct, right? Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. En la de permita, puede bajarla ahí un poquito. Sure. La, la, la pantalla. Era la uh -huh. ah, esa, esa, la cinco donde dice what was what was she like? O sea que esa era como eh, era como preguntar en español cómo es él o cómo era ella, algo así. But personality. Yes. And personality. Yes. Es que, o sea, mi, mi confusión, mi confusión viene porque, o sea, like yo entiendo que, que solo traducida la palabra es otra cosa. Oh, yes. Entonces, ya, ajá, entonces al meterla ahí en la pregunta era como que a mí me perdía. Entonces, no sé si tiene alguna explicación a eso o... O solo hay que aprendérselo así. Yes, es mejor aprender. Sí, porque lo que pasa es que en inglés tienen, hay palabras que tienen diferentes funciones. Están como adverbios, como adjetivos, como verbos. Entonces, este vez la misma palabra se hace verbo, o a veces que es un adjetivo, o a veces que no hay, por ejemplo, hay que ser palabras compuestas. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted dice gordo, es tan. Y, pero, ¿cómo dice engordar? 
Entonces se utiliza la palabra get. Ah. Get. Entonces es get fat. Entonces así se van componiendo algunas palabras. Entonces eh, lo mejor acá es agarrar las expresiones. Y por ejemplo aquí dice, when, si usted dice aquí dijera, what did he like? Then in that case, let's see. Uh, text here. No, 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 no. Is it? Okay, if I say, for example, what did he like? I say he liked the house. Okay. Se ven acá, está diferente. And I'm going to have to make a change with my keyboard because it's in Spanish, that's the beginning. Okay. Then, what did he like? Este like que usted ve aquí no es el mismo que está acá. It's different. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is the verb. We can start with what is he like? Okay, if you see here, for example, this is did and this is his. In past tense, we're going to use was. What was he like? Okay. Suppose that you can talk about a person that he conoció hace tiempo, o una persona que ya no vive, okay, o una persona que uno conoció hace un par de horas y y se fue, y se ve, hey, what was he like? He was very humble. Okay, what is humble? Humilde, right? If you say, what was, humble, uh... what was Jesus Christ like? Okay, what was Jesus like? Okay. Okay. He was very humble. He was uh, intelligent. Okay. He was a uh, what he was patient. And what did he like? What did he like? He liked to help. To help what? To help people. Okay, so the context is very different. Yeah, can I confirm? Okay, lo mejor es aprenderse. So what was he like? Description, personality. What did he like? Que le gustaba, right? Got it? Okay. Okay. Sí, 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 más o menos le, 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 le capté. Y... Okay. Yes, uh -huh. yes, it's about a practice, it's about practice. Lo mejor es, eh, hay otras explicaciones más, eh, más gramaticales, que es un sustantivo, que es un verbo y todo eso, ir sacando todas las formas, otra, eh, todas las formas que tiene like. For, uh, for example, I don't know if... Um, And here. 
Let's see if we can find something. Uh, it's probably forms of like. A dictionary. Okay, here. Aquí aparece como adjetivo. Adjective. The same appearance, kind, character, and noun. I cannot remember like an instance. Aquí aparece como como. Right? Corresponding agree in general. Similar, right? Preposition. He works like a beaver. Okay. Trabaja como un castor. He's just like his father. Aquí es apariencia de, ¿cómo se llama? De, de personalidad. Okay. Están como prepositions. Nearly como adverb. Okay. The house is more like. 40 than, so aquí está como a unos 40, como a unos 40 años. Like it, probably. O sea, si usted ve, la palabra like tiene different meanings. Okay, diferentes significados. Por eso acá es mejor aprender la que está ahí y trabajarla. Right? Use it, use it, use it a lot. Ok. Ok. All right. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see the next one. Okay, now we're going to use the negative contractors. Hi everyone, in this class we learn to sound natural when expressing thought. Let's get started by analyzing the contractors we thought aren't weren't, don't, can't, two syllables, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contraction is to extend N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to talk. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable. Aren't so that is chart. The license you can track so that is chart. Aren't weren't don't can't two syllables isn't wasn't doesn't didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't. Okay, listen again. Don't. Weren't. So that is chart. Aren't. They aren't. Aren't. Weren't. Weren't. Don't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Oh. Okay, this sounds like if it is only one word. And this one, like if there is two words, he then wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay. Now, uh, Esther, can you please read this eight word from here? What? Can you read this? Uh, yes. Um, one syllable. Not here. Aren't. Aren't. 
Uh, okay. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, and didn't. Okay, very good. Gabriela? Uh, I don't like this one. Aaron, here, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, okay. Um, weren't Aaron, were don't, don't, can't, isn't, yes, isn't, mm -hmm. isn't, was. Was, wasn't, doesn't, doesn't, didn't, didn't. Okay, Luis. Aren't, aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't. Didn't. Didn't. Okay, Ceci? Aren't. Aren't. Mm -hmm. Weren't. Yeah. Don't. Can't. Isn't. Doesn't. Wasn't. Didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Now, Christina? Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, didn't, didn't, uh, wasn't. Wasn't. Proceed. Aren't, mm -hmm. weren't, don't. Can't, isn't, doesn't, was, it didn't. Wasn't and didn't. Okay, this is good. Mauricio? Mauricio, let's go. Mauricio, Aren't, want, weren't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, and didn't. And didn't. Okay, good. How about you, Joseph? Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Veronica? Aren't? Where does can is it was it does doesn't does, doesn't did doesn't did didn't okay thank you Dinora okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. are don't where can isn't doesn't wasn't and didn't. And didn't. Okay, Mr. Mauricio Perez. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Celia? Aren't? Weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Okay, well, that one wasn't good. Good, Mr. Nelson. Uh, aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Okay, good. Now listen to this little paragraph again and pay attention to the pronunciation. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. 
these aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow for the express. He wasn't here yesterday. Okay, Mr. Nelson, the first sentence. Uh, repeat, please. The, read the first sentence. Okay. Uh, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Good. Sylvia? The second. Excuse me, teacher. The second sentence. Read the second sentence. Uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. Like tea. Mauricio, the third one. Mauricio Perez. Read the number three, the third, the third sentence. These aren't their streets. They can't swim. These aren't their swimsuits. They the, can't swim. Their okay. swimsuits. Mm -hmm. They can't swim. Okay, okay good. Dinora, the last one. Okay. He was, he was here yesterday and he isn't here today. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, thank you. Uh, Veronica, the first one. Okay. What did you, they the first, the first. They did? Uh-huh, they did. Diner, because they were hungry. Hungry, okay. Le voy a dar un tip de pronunciación. Cuando hay doble letra, ajá, se dice dinner. Si solo hubiera uno, sería diner. Okay? So you say they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay? Thank you. Josephine, the second. Uh, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Then she doesn't like tea. Good. Then uh, Mauricio Larcón, the third one. Uh, the third? Yes. Oh, okay. This, these aren't their swim suits. Swim they suits. can swim suits. They can swim. They can swim. Okay. Swim suit. Swim suit. Suits. Suit, that's correct. Swim suits. Very good. Okay, Rosie. The, uh, the last one. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Good. The last round. Okay, uh, Christina, the first one. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Good. Tessie? <clears throat> I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Very good. Luis? These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. Very good. Gabi, Gabriela? She wasn't her yesterday. Um, he isn't here today. He isn't here today. Okay, tomorrow we're going to practice with another paragraph similar to this for the articulation, right? So that you can uh, have more fluency when you are speaking. Okay. You feel comfortable pronouncing that. Okay. Okay. You see, it's a lot of requests, a lot of uh, repetition, right? That we have to do in order to, to have a better pronunciation. Okay, so the pronunciation was good. Now you need more, uh, more speed, more fluency, okay? But that's, okay. But that's only practice, that's fun of practice. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow, people. Have a good night.
Practice. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.